Hey, I'll just Mike here to do a quick little update on uh, some of the things we've been needing because I've, of course, been Mr. Um, entry list for the series and so on. And I wanted to quickly get around to explaining something because I'm getting a lot of questions on it when I ask about it. So, figures, you know, one place, make everyone kind of aware of what's going on. So, um, I have figured out how to uh basically edit drivers on the entry list in manners that are not in the manual uh specifically the helmet suit gloves and national flag and this allows me to not have us be the sort of everybody has the same everything and nobody has a flag thing that you've seen in previous races you've noticed probably in the most recent commentary that like canadian flags started popping up and um Probably no one really noted that the suits had changed. Uh, but the flags have been popping up. And that's because I've been slowly figuring out what number corresponds to what country. And there's something I need. Well, don't need, but would appreciate from some people to kind of help this along. When you sign up for the series, if you could send me your driver file, that would help. Now... What we have here is now what I'm going to show you is how to find that driver file. So if you open your my documents, wherever that happens to be, and you go in here and you go to the Assetto Corsa Competizione or ACC folder, open that up. You will find a bunch of subfolders here, including one called customs. Now in the customs, you have your cars. Uh, so cars and liveries are your custom liveries. Uh, your custom controls is your control schemes and then drivers now if you pull up drivers you get driver one driver two driver three now you can open this up with any text editor i use notepad plus plus and we can see what goes on here uh first name uh, again marshall stewart this is this is my non-racing computer so this is all going to be just like generic uh stuff uh marshall stewart you can set your short name here as well You've got your driver category. That is incorrect. That one should be silver. But anyway. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? I'm thinking the other computer. This one probably actually doesn't have a category set up. And we have our uh, your hel helmet stuff. Helmet template, base color, detail, etc. Same with the gloves. Or the gloves just have a template. And then the suit. Uh, and then this stuff down here is not actually needed. Now, interestingly enough, this one does not have a flag. So I think I have to suit this, uh, to uh, actually give you, I have to actually set that, which I was going to show you anyways, because um, basically what this is, is it controls what you get when you look at your driver. So if we go boot up a set of course, up to Shione here for a real sec uh, quick second here, shouldn't take too, too long. And if we go in, I can show you where to customize this and all that stuff. I've shown it before, but it bears a little bit of a of a of a rethrow uh, at everybody. I think probably not a terrible terrible idea. Kuno's the most confusing. Okay, so if you go to your driver here, this is where you find all this stuff. Um, so if you go over to customize, there's your driver. So you can set these up. You can set up uh, co-drivers uh, on my other machine. I have myself, and then I have my first teammate is my dad. My second teammate is my cousin, etc., etc., etc. Now here's where we can go. So um, we'll just leave Marshall and Stewart the same. I'll even show you where you can possibly change. Th you can obviously change those by going just over to here can't change the name here so let's uh so the abbreviation um i don't know uh let's go overlord ovl um and you can set your nationality here andorra argentina armenia australia i'm gonna set mine to oh chinese taipei what does that flag look oh that's an that's an interesting looking flag um, and obviously, if your country is not here, unfortunately, we can't put it there. But um, 
I'm not aware of a country missing that at least exists today. I know that there's no Yugoslavian flag, otherwise I would uh, totally run under that. But um, Madagascar, interesting. I'm just uh, I'm just looking for like a neat neat flag here. Or you know what? You know what? You know what? I need I need to know what number Argentina is. So let's grab that. Why don't we? <laughs> While I'm here, uh, so let's set this to Argentina, and you can switch set to yourself to silver. And then you can do uh, your various changes here with the helmet and so on. Um, you just select colors. So let's pull out a color there. Boom. Done. And then we're going to exit. And you can do, you can customize your uh, your other drivers the same way. Uh, now if we go back here, I should have a flag. There it is, nationality 14. So I now know what Argentina is. 34 is Canada, 39 is the US, 14 is Argentina. We're getting there. Uh, I also have one of the Brazilian drivers uh, has sent me his file, so I'll be able to find out what the Brazilian flag is as well. So there you go. That's what we got. Uh, and that's what, that's what that you sent me. So let, let's say I wanted to uh, send this you know, easy peasy. Uh, so we pick up here. Let's, uh, oops, sorry, Jeff, we're showing your conversation here. Uh, I just need somebody I can dump a file to. Uh, just dumping a file for the, for a guide video. So we go in here. We go to where that file was, documents, set of course a competition, customs, drivers, driver one, boom. And driver one is always the the U. Uh, driver driver two and three are um, your teammates. Now, because somebody asked as well, uh, if you share a computer, um, all you need to do is make a copy of these files. So I could just take. Uh, a copy of these boom create a new little folder here uh, other driver other I guess other user name it whatever you want paste them in there and if I wanted to and if you're swapping in and out you just you would just go into the folder grab them and then put them back into the drivers folder simple easy file management basically um, I know a couple of people already do this uh, Rochelle and Jack, for example, have uh, different driving suits that they like to use. Um, the other one that you may come into play here is this account file here. Uh, let me pull that up. Is there anything in here that's interesting and useful? Not really. Okay, it's got the same stuff, actually. Um, so you could also give me this, although I think the driver file is probably better. I'm just looking if there's anything in here that's interesting. I mean, it gives me it gives the Discord username, I guess, but that's, that's about it, really. Um, no, okay, so it's got more or less the same stuff here. So you could also send me the account file if you wanted, uh, as well as the driver file. But I think the driver file probably uh, probably slightly better. Um, well, actually, uh, I don't think the account. Yeah, the account file won't work because it gives the country in this form which does not work. Um, I need the country in its numerical form. Um, and if you're needing to see what I mean by this, uh, so this is the copy of the uh, Wednesday entry list that I keep. And you'll notice some of these are a little bit more beefy than others, like these are basic. So this one's mine here, and there's where you can get the helmet, the base color, and so on. So this gives me, in the 3D speed server, my driver uniform. Um, and also my nationality flag there uh, that gets reset to basically nothing um, if you do not um, uh, properly do it. I am still trying to figure out the team thing here. Um, this Audi World Revolution team thing, it's, it has yet to work. Still working on that. Determined to find a way to figure it out. This is one of those things that's kind of annoying because there's, there are what things that you can do that are not in the manual. 
So just because the manual doesn't tell me how to change a team name doesn't mean it can't be done. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, but unfortunately, the team name uh, doesn't work. Um, unless I just have to move it to a correct space. I mean, it could be it could be an order thing that needs to be done correctly. I'm not honestly sure. Um, but I'll let you know if I figure that part out. And uh, so, yeah, anyways, this is a little bit of a guide here for those who are doing entry lists or those who are doing series on entry lists. Um, just, you know, send over the driver file and that basically gives the admin everything they need to construct a, a more complete um, entry for you. And that is all for now. So thank you for giving me your ten and a half minutes or so, whatever this was.